I'm really excited to set it up now because I'm now eight months pregnant. And Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button if you like this video. So today we're going to be doing the unboxing and review of the Love Every Play, Play Gym. Maybe you can't really see it on camera, but right now I'm eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. All right, so when you open it, you get uh, a lovely picture. And then on the back, you get everything that you get from it. So, in the right order. So what's included? You have the activity guide. Uh, you have, of course, the play gym. You have an organic cotton high contrast ball, an organic cotton teething ring, a batting ring, a teething ring, card clips, picture cards, black and white cards and mirror cards and then you also get a play space cover which I'm I'm really excited for I don't know I find it so cute and it makes me want to be a baby <laughs> and I feel like I need to do all these bigger things even though it's like super light but everything voluminous I need to do it uh, before I can't move anymore because it's already pretty hard to to use my abs and I, <laughs> I thought I wouldn't be a person that the belly button was gonna pop but it's definitely popping now uh, anyway so this is the play gym and it's beautiful and when you remove the little tent uh, let's do it quickly We are going to attach again like all the um, the items. So this is the high contrast uh, ball, and you can just you see it's very easy to to attach again. It's all Velcro. The teething ring and you can really like have them where where you want and the, the ratting wait how do you call this yeah. and the batting ring batting ring this is how oh. I guess this is the way you play with it Oh, it must be fun to be a baby. Anyway, so we are going to be putting it here and then I'm going to show you how basically what is it hidden in all the different places. So here you have the place where you're going to put the cards. So you see in here you can place the cards and so depending on your child's age you will be able to put the, the cards you want them to focus on and that's going to be very very sweet to play with then uh, here you have hiding and finding and you have by the way the the teething ring uh, right here and you can put it inside the little pocket here and they have to find it uh, so that's hiding and and, um, and finding and you could put like somewhere something else and that's very sweet then here you have making sounds. And so it's wrinkling paper. And, oh. And you have, uh, oh, my cat is. What is this? Thank you. My cat is afraid to, to go on it. I don't want, I don't want Neptune to uh, put hair on it, so we're going to make sure to remove. What's this? Alright, so that was making sound, and definitely you have cats liking it, and this is how things feel. So you have different texture, have different fabric, and they can pull on it, and see how, how things feel, basically. 
Uh, and then here is exploring colors. And so you have all the different colors of the rainbow and that is going to stimulate their vision. You see you have different areas to play with, different concepts. So the ball is to stimulate their grabbing skills. As you can see you can grab it on several um, in several places and it's going to really help their motor functions. And here you have a teething ring and also um, wrinkling paper. So it's going to make noise and stimulate their, um, their hearing and their sense of, of taste as well by like teething on it. Uh, and then this is sense of touch, I guess, and, and the cause and effect. So you know when they will be moving it, it's going to make more noise and to understand the, the, the link between movement and sound. I love it. And then here you have um, the fourth toy, which is just a teething ring. And same, it's, you know, baby first, they discover everything with their mouth. They're gonna uh, chew on a lot of things and that is going to help them definitely. Right, so this is the guide that comes with to help you understand how to play with it, but also it gives you a lot of uh, facts about your baby and depending on the, on the different weeks. So, for example, you have from 0 to 12 weeks, you have uh, 3 to 4 months, then you have 5 to 6 months, 7 to 8 months, 9 to 10, and then 11 to 12, so for a whole first year. And let's see, it's going to talk about the high contrast cards. Um, why do this? It's to promote rich neutral networks. Decades of research show that time spent looking at high contrast images is important for babies' cognitive development. When infants are stimulated visually, the connections between their eyes and brain strengthen. Babies relied mostly on their eyes for learning in the very early months. So you see visual learning is very, is very important, visual stimulating, and that's why they come with the, the high contrast cards for the first 12 weeks and you have all of those and so to play with them you can just put them in the card holder and you choose you know which ones uh, you want to start with I would start you know with bigger sh uh, figures and shapes and then you can move on to um, more complicated ones and then you have also uh, little mirrors that come in the kit and that is uh, to help with self-awareness. And then you have also people's um, cards, I mean people's and objects actually, and a dog. This is to help um, recognition. So let me answer the million dollar question now. Is the Love Every Play Gym worth it? In my opinion, the play gym is definitely worth it. The components of the play gym are different from the baby play kits. The play gym is focused on a one year of educational play while the baby play kits are for two months blocks. Uh, the toys are also different, so you won't have much overlap. If you feel that the play gym is on the expensive side, I believe you should see it in the dual play and educational experience uh, toys that help build your baby's motor, cognitive and speech development. It was designed by child development experts uh, for that purpose. So let me break down the features of the Love Every Play Gym. So first it takes about two minutes to set up. It's made of sustainably supplied wood and organic cotton. The play area is 50 inches when opened all the way. You can keep track of your baby's progresses and challenge them to explore various colors, shapes and textures while not overstimulating them. So the toys can be hidden so your child is developing their attention skills by focusing on only one toy. The play gym helps uh, teach your baby about cause and effect because as they learn to perform actions, babies are slowly recognizing that actions have responses. So there are four removable toys, a high contrast ball, a cotton teether, a batting ring, a BPA free teething ring. So the play gym comes as a system of interchangeable card sets that you can swap out for your baby, including clips that attach to the play gym so that 
uh, cards can be used overhead. Plus, there's an easy to scan play guide for parents. The other black and white card set, mirror card set, common objects card set, and faces card set. There's a play space cover that makes the play gym even more dynamic so they can have a space to crawl into. And there are of course no batteries needed so you can engage with your baby with no screen. The play gym is easy to clean and I'm going to tell you how to clean your play gym. So for the activity mat, the teething ring and the Montessori ball, the lavery recommends a washing machine in cold water with a gentle cycle. They also recommend all fabric to be air dried. Now for wood and plastic parts, you can wipe them with damp cloth and non-abrasive cleaner as needed. And I have one tip to share with you. So I recommend keeping the box so you have a place to store the play gym when it's not in use or if you want to save it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my review and unboxing of the Love Every Play Gym. I hope you liked it and I definitely can't wait to play with it with my baby.